What did they say in art school? They said I was a genius, right? I'm always, I always encourage your talent. No talent, I'm not talking about talent. I said genius, genius. When you think of Penelope Cruz, it's tempting to think of the bright lights of Hollywood. But if you want to talk with the Oscar-winning star, you need to travel to Madrid, the city in her native Spain where she now resides. Holly Williams has a Sunday profile. I have always said to myself, I will never stop being the observer. I don't want to be the one observed. How am I perceived? That doesn't matter. Penelope, to your right. She's a movie star who's spent three decades in the spotlight. But Penelope Cruz says she's not interested in her own image. Has that helped you hang on to your sanity as a celebrity? Yes, yes. and in terms of not believing either the great things that are said about you, not believing the bad things, uh, just going in your path, little by little, like, as a student of life, and that's what I consider myself. Since making her film debut as a teenager, Cruz, now 47, has been dubbed a screen goddess by critics. With three Academy Award nominations, including one win, she's the only actress from Spain to take home an Oscar. Over the last few years, you've made fewer Hollywood films and more films here in Spain. Is that a creative, artistic preference? It's also because this is where I'm raising my kids. Of course, it makes me pass on a lot of things. And these years that are, are so important, I don't want to miss anything uh, with them growing up. Her new film, Parallel Mothers, is all about motherhood, with some jarring twists. ¿Cuántos años esperando este momento, Arturo? And it's already won Cruz the Best Actress Award at the Venice Film Festival. It's Cruz's seventh collaboration with Spanish director Pedro Almodóvar, who wrote the role for her. Even if one of them was a cameo, but I count all of them, and I hope many more. He calls Cruz his muse. She told us it's the most important creative relationship of her career. Both of them, she says, are obsessive about their work. Mi amor, yo te quiero mucho, eh? Is that part of you what know, binds you together? You're obsessive I, I, about the work, both yeah, of you? I think so. You have to go all the way. And of course, you, you have the safety net of knowing that it's a fiction, but you have to really, really go there with no fear. But he's always there. To, to pick me up, literally pick me up from the floor one time in one of these scenes, and I just could not come out of the scene. And when that happens, it is scary, but it's also a great feeling of, okay, we really went to a place where we were supposed to go to tell this story. Hello. Hello. Early on, Cruz's magnetic screen presence was also noticed in Hollywood, and she was lured across the Atlantic to star in big budget features. You are coming inside, but if this turns out to be a big mistake, I do have the ability to fall out of love with you like that. She's one of a handful of non-native English speakers who've hit the big time and frequently compared to Sophia Loren. Do you feel that in Hollywood, because of your beauty, at times you've been typecast? I feel like I've had great opportunities and that, of course, I've said no to things, especially at the beginning, that maybe were, I don't know, maybe not in interesting. And not yeah. interesting because you were just the, no, the, no, the, no. the love interest? I, I, it would be unfair for me to talk like that because I've been able to move back and forth, finding interesting things. But the most difficult lesson at the beginning for me was to learn that I, that I had to say no to, to a lot of projects. And but have you said no to some big parts and some big money yeah, in Hollywood? Yes, <laughs> yes, but I would never say which movies or with whom. Like, I think that would be so, so rude of me to say, oh, I said no to that or to, no, no, no. Cruz is diplomatic about the industry, even when it comes to her name, which it turns out we've been mispronouncing. Cruz told us she doesn't mind. For the record, what is the correct pronunciation of your name? Cruz. Cruz. <laughs> With a feta. 
Cruz, or Cruth, won some of the best reviews of her career for her role in this film. Our love will last forever. It's forever, but it just doesn't work. That's why it will always be romantic, because it cannot be complete. Vicky Cristina Barcelona, Woody Allen's sun-dappled love letter to Spain. Cruz played a troubled artist, co-starring with Javier Bardem, whom she later married. Has anybody ever fainted here? Because I might be the first one. It was also the electrifying performance that earned Cruz an Oscar. How could I be sure you were not going to hurt me? After all, I have thoughts of killing you. Thank you, Woody, for trusting me with this beautiful character. Thank you for having written over all these years some of the greatest characters for women. But in 2014, controversy surrounding an old allegation of child sexual abuse against Woody Allen was reignited. He vehemently denies the accusation. Some actors who have worked with Woody Allen have said, I regret working with him and I would never I work with him again. I don't want to talk about okay. this because I'm, I'm not the one to talk about it. Speaking generally about the media, though, Cruz told us she has concerns about people being tried in the court of public opinion. The speed of things nowadays is crazy and it would take minutes to, to really alter the life of someone for the better or for the worse. In a way that maybe could be no way back. Cruz is now living nearly 6,000 miles from Hollywood in her native Madrid. This is truly what feels like home. She has two children with Bardem, who's also an Oscar winner. What is that working relationship like? Naturally, like we don't look for projects to do constantly. And in a way, it would be more comfortable, easier for schedules. But no, I think it's a way to also protect, you know, the their relationship, not to be working all the time together. Will you make more films together? Once in a while, and, I, and he feels the same way. Once every four or five years is okay for us. Is Madrid an inspiration to you as an artist? I think it is an inspiration because it is so full of life. There is something in the atmosphere that is very, um, people are really warm, really affectionate. Cruz is back home, right where she started. But her rare talent has won her global acclaim and a life, she told us, beyond her wildest ambitions. It was like dreaming about going to the moon. So if somebody would have told me at that age, all those things are going to happen to you, you know, it was like science fiction I could not even imagine.